I thought let me have an orange good no an orange is good. So, I thought next thing I will try to start with uh, uh, can I make juice <laughs> that is a very routine thing you know that except that it is made of metal and then oh I have even a better thing ah I have a real lemon squeezer not only just a lemon squeezer it also has a lemon in it we call this a lime or a lemon or anything and then you see here there are some good points in this one of them is that it has a leverage and all then there is a bad point about it saying you cannot take a lemon and just uh, you know make a half and squeeze it it does not work out very well you still need the two or three operations. I leave it here and I will <coughs> get back to I wanted to show this to you in the last class saying we have a cardboard model it is possible for us to make all these models in cardboard looks easy is it not this particular one it is about uh, making something flat we have three views if you make this engineering views it is slightly difficult to understand only thing is easy to dimension them that is where the engineering views know this is a two side views and the flat plan view will help. But if you are to go for the In this view we can clearly understand what is the relative position in uh, this here. Here in this case we can see the width probably in one of these drawings I can mention the width. How? And then I can measure uh, you know the other uh, dimensions and then you see we have a very critical I have a small step here. I can give the height of this and height of this and in another view at this point I can probably dimension this properly. If you remember in that sketching exercise I was talking to you about catching the highlights is actually an object which is attached by folded cardboard. So, I have one here which you know this cardboard has been folded into the shape up to here and then another cardboard has been folded into a shape here there is a box that is made and then this box is attached to it. These highlights are provided so that it is easy and visible to you. So, this is one way what I thought you now could be a multimeter if you remember I was talking to you about we may or may not be able to hold a device conveniently in the hand because our width is limited you see this way it sits well it does not sit so well this way it is much wider than anything. So, we have a display there which is probably as wide as this, but then the handle portion which is only wide as this. So, these have to be in and have been attached together and we have got the beautiful object here. Oh we have something else here again another cardboard exercise you see here there are no highlight here why a highlight has not been provided is because it is an actually change in when two any two surfaces meet you have an edge and it just catch highlights at the bottom there is a highlight somehow it is not uh, coming through. So, you see here it looks I mean like a useful object only thing being this can be a display here is can something flat and that can be used for storing your probes. So, this could be any handheld device probably you can wear it and then I can still see the edge I can keep it on the ground I can on the flat surface and do it and this place I can put two probes or it is possible for me I can put one of the probes here and one of the probes here one of them can be an earthing probe looks nice is not it in the when it is in the flat condition. Now, let us say I make it uh, vertical make it hang around here still I can see the display there is no issue about the display there. Underneath how it looks now probably you will appreciate that origami which that uh, other I will call him a designer I will stop calling them students because all of them have passed this been made around 15 years I think. Uh, 
2003 or 2004 uh, these things have been made. So, they have made around saying it is very easy for us to make this whole even final product using polystyrene or polycarbonate or acrylic sheets cut them and join them together and make this beautiful surfaces. So, I will just go through this is going to be one of your future uh, exercises. I will take you back to the brick. <laughs> so, I would like to acknowledge the various sources from which I have taken these pictures in case uh, you know the original originator of these uh, what I call stock photos. So, there is here no it says it is one of the stock photos taken from the internet, but because this is a learning process they will also get an advantage. I have taken them freely from the internet because some of these cannot be easily produced. For example, this cross section obviously, it was very tough to make this particular presentation from here on is about a very routine thing saying how do we get the juice out of a lemon. So, you must have also come across the joke saying there will be a big uh, what do you call a strong arm person who goes in a fair saying I have a lemon I have squeezed it anybody who can get another drop out of it I will give you so much and all that. So, one thin wiry what do you call skeleton of a man comes and he squeezes it and gets the drop and people are shocked then he gets three more drops out of it. People ask him sir what do you do for a living he says I am a tax collector there is no laugh track here. The thing is we have two or three issues about when we take a thing like squeezing an ordinary lime where in this case the skin is also almost a part of it it is not easy to remove it and in the case of these other things uh, it is a type of an orange the advantage of an orange is the skin is peelable it is not part of the skin I mean it is not attached to the the remaining thing inside in both the cases we do not want the bad taste, but we want the good juice out of it. So, the next lecture is going to be about how to go around trying to make a very routine object in this case a lemon or lime squeezer I am still confused. So, they will call it a citron uh, squeezer there are so many of the things there apologies in case I term it wrongly. So, we have this you have seen this this one is typically a lime uh, this thing and then we keep it here. Okay, this is the juice we have and this I think no while I do not promote uh, what do you call other thing. So, uh, a lime slice or a lemon slice and probably this is a mint leaf and there is some drink in this I will say they are good people I drink only water in the correct quantities too much of also is bad. So, we have here this has several properties here. one of them is the skin also has those uh, olfactory or all your resins which contribute to the what do you call uh, the flavor of it. We will take a very very old 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 squeezer looks quite old and if you see carefully various elements of it in this is that on the top you have this dome we have this beautiful dome which can take fruits of a you know a little medium size rather okay <laughs> medium large all the way to a little small thing. And then other elements if you see here first of all it is a handle so that is easy for you to hold it and then we have something which catches the seeds and then we have something which pours. So, we have a spout we have a a seed I uh, will call it a I would not call it a mesh at least the seeds portion it does and then you can pour it. So, we have a handle to pour it to handle it and so on and make sure that our fingers do not touch the thing, but the disadvantage the main advantage of it is glass is clean 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 you can sanitize it saying you can autoclave it uh, you can you know clean it in uh, boiling water 
and maybe you can use a infrared lamp or anything sterilizing glass is easy only bad luck or bad point is if you drop it it is gone. So, there is a good and bad of it the bad is you can buy a new one I am sorry the good is you can always buy a new and better one the bad is it is not a loss of glass it is about the splinters that are likely to injure others. So, people have tried to work on this and see how to improve it. So, all the elements which are there in the other are also copied here. In fact, to make it a little more easier they have put two handles and then there is a beautiful I will just call it a conical uh, squeezer like thing and once for all now we have here a proper strainer of the correct diameter of holes and we have a spout also here. So, as you squeeze it all the juice goes inside and probably you can uh, maybe put a little bit of sugar or uh, whatever they can do. So, we have a beautiful stainless steel device here. Only problem is it is slightly expensive this can has all the other things, but it is a little expensive and getting something fabricated like this is not easy. And once you remove the strainer and top you can probably put a cover on top of it and then carry it, but then in uh, this thing no it is not very very good. So, somebody has come out which what that thought no is a fantastic improvement on that it has all the elements what we want like this beautiful what you call seed catcher is there then we have this cup on top and then you have to do everything and then there is one more thing also no everything and then you see this handle looks good, but as I keep mentioning this is exactly the handle and the form which we also use for a mug and where I live we use water we do not use tissue. So, it looks a little like the mugs which you use for the other thing not very aesthetically pleasant as long as you do not look at it it is still convenient. And then another important thing is it is stackable one over the other no you stack them a lot in this case they are independently stackable you have a cup at the bottom which can be stacked separately and the tops can be stacked because in essence it is a thin sheet while it has all the elements that is why it has been kept like this you can keep it or you can keep it on a rack can do various things as I told you the association with something which is used in a what you call as a mug it is not very good. Ah, slowly we are coming into beautiful things saying a few things which are taken from nature this again I do not know where it comes from obviously it could be what you call eastern Europe or uh, absolutely the far east or uh, probably it is there it is a ceramic bowl like thing in which you know you take a lemon squeeze it and then it has a small opening and then you sprinkle it wherever you want. So, if it is very very good and then the back if you see the the mem or uh, the cue is that it is it looks a little like a natural object maybe it even you know goes out of a tree sometimes if you take a fruit and then remove all the pulp what you remain what remains is probably something like this. So, all the elements have been included into it saying it is a much more aesthetic and acceptable object on the thing and then once it is glazed it is probably more acid resistant than any other material including stainless steel. Stainless steel also does not stain, but it gets attacked by acids. But then if you see this fired uh, sintered ceramic puts its thing forever uh, we have we are getting into very very beautiful thing. No jokes, but there are it looks a little like the people I know who wear a pointed hat and then you have this beautiful eyes and then the way the picture has been taken the reflection of this shows that there is a smile normal and then probably if you turn it over probably it has this inside I do not know if it is the same or it is as you see here. So, it is a cover it looks a little like the what do you call um, fruit punch and uh, I will call it a mocktail the big other place other thing no I would rather avoid it not to have mocktails and all that they need a cover. So, you have a beautiful uh, thing here and then now have a look at this it is nothing but a standard beaker it looks like a beautiful pitcher a glass pitcher which you can hold 
and then you keep this thing on top their variant. So, you can have a glass uh, thing here and then uh, you see here you this is this one and then these things you pour you can collect juice parts of the world where uh, orange juice is a standard thing. I have seen this it is really really pretty except that a small thing is you have to be careful unless you hold it and squeeze it, it does not uh, you know squeeze easily, but still it is a beautiful object, beautiful object it is old. <laughs> the part which I am showing will you believe this thing has been patented very recently only in 1900 quite old it is and we do not know maybe it was uh, developed uh, 10 years earlier and finally, we have this beautiful wooden uh, squeezer. You see them occasionally if you go out and uh, even search on the net you have it and then you see here this is probably you know medieval times, but then there is some elements in this is that it is strong and then if you see here probably you know uh, there is something with which you can squeeze this thing these are all vintage uh, devices you can apply the pressure and squeeze it I do not know how it works we have this vintage devices. This is the one I try to show it to you just now this is the one I try to show it to you a little there are some positive advantages seeing this being if it is a half shape and you squeeze it, but how do you put it? <laughs> do you have the cup facing this side or do you put it upside down and then by the time you finish it should curl up and come out it looks ok still not a big deal. In fact, I do it the other way saying I push one half of it here. So, the other half the cut half is here I put it hard and then I let it come and then I use the side for pouring it before the advent of plastics we had these things same rule there is a bit of leverage and then uh, this being sheet metal they avoid, avoid I mean they have uh, provided these bosses here we have something and probably you know usually people use two rounds of it after squeezing it in the normal way they turn it upside down and squeeze it again then you can get most of the juice out of it. Now, coming back to my slides here you see it is being shown as a two what you call two hand device probably yes probably not and then we need to think about it this is one way we put it now does it really squeeze well you have to see this is where you now the human engineering part comes this is probably one of the better designs I have seen in this case it is squeezed sideways which is a little like what you would do you will also hold things and squeeze it sideways and then we have a lemon slice here they put the lemon slice and squeeze it you see here juice comes and in the places like this no probably the outside skin and the lessences will not come ah you see this here and this you see what they have done they have made it even better I like it it is made to look a little like a bird. So, when you find it on a table it will not uh, it will go well with the other things while well, there is a novelty element in it the reality is that you have a squeezing device which squeezes here and it also makes sense will make people desire this product. We come back to the good old thing. So, somebody one designer no has gone about saying why do not we find out actually how people use these devices. So, they went about looking at the way people want it. So, you have a fruit mocktail being prepared after everything is over he is using the power of his this palm and the four fingers pressing it down and squeezing it which is probably inevitable in the case you are making a milkshake or I am sorry something which needs to be blended you just need to squeeze a little hard and then the juice comes out here you see here as a strainer here somebody is squeezing all the lemons here cannot we play around and make a product out of it you see what they have done it is an open cup made out of now new materials are available it does not smell of rubber this is the beautiful flexible plastic wrongly people you know call it uh, 
what you call silicon silicon it is not silicon it is silicone so you have a silicone rubber you push the what you call thing inside open the bottom and squeeze it and nicely juice comes out of it why not play around the original so you have an open uh, funnel like thing you keep these uh, device inside and you squeeze them you have a beautiful product improved you have a funnel and then you have a squeezing device I asked you which way does it work here you should not if you go back to this original you see your hand is likely to get in contact with uh, these things which is not good both for the hand and for the uh, uh, thing being prepared instead this avoids that there is no hand contact here still a little bit of it is there but you see here the actual uh, call the citrus which is being squeezed does not come into contact with the hand absolutely so there is no mix up between two things you may enjoy lime flavor and you may be one of those people who hate other flavors typically a lot of people do not like uh, that uh, what do you call why do we call it uh, beluli that one onion type device or even we can take onion if your hand is contaminated with onion you want that to be contaminated with this so we have a device which is absolutely closed oh the word came to me garlic so if your hands are smelling of garlic they should not smell of garlic so this things is also being used to dress a salad on the top of the salad they are trying to you know put all these drops lemon drops oh things are getting better you would have seen this occasionally in fairs you have a small screw like thing next slide shows you that you pour it pour it into this there is a cup here which you do something squeeze it or in this case there is a small see here <laughs> I just have a what you call a knife which I poke inside I squeeze hard and then beautifully all the juice comes out. And this one and avoid in a competition in stainless steel inox one of the inox uh, award winner of course they give it to various products for a novelty part of it it is nothing but a stainless steel what to call a strip which is wound you know by which you know you send it into a, any of the citrus things and then probably remove that small uh, rind like thing by turning and afterwards when you squeeze it neatly pours out and to prevent hands from being cut and all that you see the way you know very very carefully various things happen and this part of it is smooth that part of it is where you have the cutting handle. This is a very old traditional thing you do not see people using it still it still has its way. So, if you see here what people do is they take a fruit they cut it after they sliced fruit imagine this is one of those things they keep this and then they keep rotating it here after they keep rotating they have full control of making sure that they all the juice is extracted from it this I think I showed you yesterday is what looks obviously like a alien is nothing but a, a juice are made by that uh, Norman. is just a what you call I will call it a relief you can read it yourself. Not true but what is true is that the amount the way you squeeze and the way you get the juice out is clear but in semi what do you say commercial meaning home or uh, little in larger quantities several of these new devices take care of the problems which are inherent in those small handheld devices. See here we have a rack we have a handle which rotates it in the case it is plastic same thing here in the case of it is a metal and then you have a, a cup in which they have a strainer come uh, thing and then you keep a half a lemon on it and then you push it down. So, the advantage being like I told you you are pushing the outside onto the inside 
which is very critical, which is not easy, it is not it does not work so well in these things because you are not squeezing it any way you do the holes are in the wrong place. Logically the holes if the holes were here and then they would made it this action this action no, would have been better and a little similar to these juice presses which we have here. See in this it is all inverted and then we have powered juicers it is instantal very large number of these things are made. So, you have part centrifugal part scraping mechanized this you would have seen in several places in malls and uh, various things I suggest you go to the YouTube and then talk up I mean just look for this orange uh, slicers. If you keep these devices very clean and all that they have beautiful options here you see here what does is the oranges are fed and the orange comes here something is held and there is a a knife here which slits it nicely after that they are squeezed and then after the squeezing one after the other the juice the rind falls off the other side the juice comes into this you have the two rinds two halves of the rinds there and so on. So, we have this all over the place mechanized advantage of mechanization being first of all there is a little bit of standardization we ensure that the amount of squeezing the type of uh, what you call hygiene and all is standardized. Something also a little related to this is that uh, throughput total amount of the juice collected versus disposal of the thing can be in full control. You can see it open here you see here there is a one of these uh, what you call oranges falls in this after that both of them join together here then it cuts it one part of the rind falls here another part falls here and then you have the juice coming out here. And then the throughput is so high so even if there were a queue and then within a short time you can easily make use of it. So, if any of you get a chance you read about this about the emotional designs by Norman why we love or hate everyday things and that is the reason it is something for us no if you do not like something you can always go and make it better. I have come to the end of this saying is this a real product or not <laughs> this is where we have a little problem these days problem there is several cleaners including you know tile cleaners and then even the detergent we use are all lemon scented not flavored no? it does not taste like thing. So, now what do we do is this a is it a squeezer for washing tiles or is it uh, it is just a something which is playing around here I would like to point out the mistake here is to making it make this part look like something which uh, belongs to a, a cleaning bottle. If you were to adapt this properly variants of this are available in the market which uh, people use for spraying lemon only thing is the bottom the top no it looks slightly different. So, that you can spray the lemon onto various other things or it is a very common thing. So, after the end of this I would like to give you a small exercise I I hope I have been able to yeah. So, we have this exercise uh, <laughs> I will uh, try to uh, post it there are too many of them and uh, I have already shown you something earlier one of the first thing is practice your sketching ok practice sketching and then take objects around in this case it is a what you call we have the primitive objects you have a extremely you know complicated as probably a sphere then we have a cube which is relatively easy to draw and then we have a cylinder because it has one of them no one of them has a circular face and then you have flat faces and then you have something again circular but not the way you would think it is it is still a thing practice one of these things and then something which is uh, probably yeah. 
I thought I will show this and then uh, what you call end the lecture. This is inside uh, I do not know one of these uh, any of the new mobile phones I am not able to identify it and this is typically the sheet metal enclosures you find for industrial equipment. It is full of holes <laughs> too many holes but then we have all this this is what is called a IP 0 0 or IP 10 type of an equipment made of sheet metal. This comes to the height of professional design expensive but not impossible for you it is very easy for you to at the probably by the end of the course and uh, if you are one of these people in the professional field. I expect that you will be able to make decisions about it saying how does these things need to look like and uh, fortunately for us if you are to work for marine equipment they have their own standards about the form the shape and uh, dimensions if you are in the aircraft they have their own things and then they have a large number of connectors here and then you have earthing lugs and then something which we love and hate just like we love and hate uh, those uh, things here cooling seems to be a serious issue about it can we cool something or uh, not. So, whether you like it or not we end up with this heat dissipators. Now, can you make a heat dissipator also as part of the enclosure is a very important thing in the case of very very critical applications what they do is they do not just put a some what you call printed wiring board or uh, some other thing directly and then put a box on that put a cover on that they start with a concept and most likely what looks like a simple heat spreader here is actually a device which is very very carefully made. I have a feeling this part of it could be a standard extrusion the top is definitely an extrusion uh, with various uh, what you call features that are added to that and this front this could be probably something which is part of the base and then we have a provision here for all these connectors and if you see that there are slots here there are slots here but there is no slot here where the earthing lug is mounted similarly there is no slot here where these two connectors are mounted and most likely one of these faces say that the top face the top face is probably it has devices or plates which on which you mount the what you call heat producing components and the opposite face this bottom probably is flat. So, because by itself is attached to a cold plate. So, this one is part of a drive if you see here now it is a motor drive 40 volt DC some 6 amps and all. So, obviously, the dimension is small advantage of this is we have one phase which is a machined heat sink. So, you have to attach it a cold plate on the other side it could be water cooled or just simply this thing part of a body and all that. So, you have a professional equipment which you will be able to make it, but one level below these boxes and all are still very much popular. So, nothing what you call unusual about it except that this confirms to certain dimensions what are called rack and uh, sub rack and what is called the 19 inch rack IEC 529 and then it uses connectors and then something which we do not like all along is these openings everywhere. But the day is saved because this goes into a bigger enclosure called the actual rack there is only a sub rack or something a unit to fit the rack only thing that is fixed is the width of the what they call that front panel is 19 inches 482.4 or 0.6 and then we have a 440 mm depth we can do and then heights are adjusted in terms of u's. So, a u is uh, this, this is a particular thing I think it is 30 it is uh, <laughs> 1 and a quarter inch plus half an inch. So, I think it is uh, 41 point something. So, in terms of this use these things are adjusted and then the the whole rack is usually sealed 
and it uses secondary air cooling. So, making an equipment which is you know um, what you call I will use the word porous or otherwise you know fully open or what is called a basic open chassis equipment is still safe because it is going to be put into a more professionally designed communication or uh, drive rack. So, we have all these beautiful uh, things in due course while this is professional. So, again uh, what you call reiterating what you want to do is impair your sketching skills. You can go to the internet lot of YouTube things are there. The very critical thing about it is saying first of all how to make a pictorial or a perspective view saying there is this how things uh, what you call converge. So, you have this left hand and right hand vanishing points or in reality wherever you look you have a vanishing point. So, in the case of buildings and all know if you are looking from top vanishing point down if you are looking it up vanishing point up. So, the 4 now saying north south and then we have the what you call left and right we have these uh, vanishing points. So, improve on your sketching something which is related to sketching is line weight. So, you have to say how to make edges those edges which form shadows need to be black and other I suggest you look up the internet otherwise if you go back to the sketching uh, this thing the previous lectures I have acknowledged where I have taken those things from. So, one is about the sketching secondly somehow in your mind you need to go and look for a small product which you can improve not easy and again something related to this is how do you make models simple as a cardboard model one of the exercises I suggested you make is a multimeter. So, just the previous few slides I have showed you how to make a multimeter using flat they are all flat surfaces. Hopefully, I have one video in which one of the persons uh, instructor is cutting all the pieces and joining them. So, the most uh, what you call easiest thing for you to try is probably a multimeter sketch a multimeter or any other uh, geometric forms. I have shown you three geometric forms here extremely difficult or uh, tough is a sphere extremely easy is a cube and anything in between, but still you see they are all flat surfaces they are not organic then something related to these two know cardboard model making and then third point is after having shown you all the alternatives with which we come about some creative solutions. So, looks these are all just lying about the house this I said is a votive candle holder. So, I have added all this from another thing makes it look a little like a teapot any time it is much better than this teapot I am sorry this ink pot <laughs> sorry I got confused with it any time it is better than this though it does have a few elements and makes it look good this adds value to it. And in the rare case that you do not want to use this you can always put an ordinary pen or anything or still better you can use it like the a scented candle pull it out and put the candle inside and then continue to use it. But the beauty is it adds value. So, I can now sell this as a candle holder I can also sell this along with a complimentary pen and you will be happy. So, thank you I have covered almost an hour and I uh, will get back to you again in the next lecture. So, take a look around improve all your things thank you.